And just welcome back. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Need for Speed Carbon GameCube game with the Xiaomi Mi 11 Snapdragon 888 at full HD resolution. Yes, I'm running full HD resolution this game. Uh, let me just put it like that. Also, I'm going to enable here CPU and GPU load. By the way, I'm having the CPU clock speed at 115. Just 115, not 60% or 100, but at 115. This, you can see by here, the performance really good at full HD resolution. This is very good, Ninjas. Still, uh, this uh, obviously this emulator needs optimization, especially for this new chip Snapdragon 888. At some occasions, it does run 60 FPS, which is beautiful. It can reach 60 FPS. I'll be trying this game at 1.5x after I've done this full HD test, 3x resolution. What the heck am I doing there? This stage is heavier though. I had a better uh, average frame rate was higher with the previous game, previous stage. Very interesting. Now it's running 50 FPS average. Okay, let's test this game just immediately on just a minute. When is the need for speed carbon? Let's check it out here at 1.5x resolution, okay? Save it and run it. Let's see, 1.5x resolution, just this is 1.5x resolution right now. The phone was heating up at full HD resolution. It was overheating. The, the, frame, the temperature right now will drop with 1.5x resolution, just notice now. It was 50 at CPU and battery 44. Check it out how CPU temperature is dropping now. Because we lowered the resolution in just. The frame rate in just exactly the same. <laughs> There's no difference at all. Which is weird, isn't it? This is what I'm telling you, telling you the optimization. Lack of optimization. Let me leave it here, kind of going to come back in 2-3 minutes to see will temperature drop more for the battery and CPU. CPU temp temperature did drop, but battery no. Everyone just the CPU temperature did drop, but the battery temperature is staying still the same. 
which is very interesting. I thought it's gonna drop down. But like I told you here, uh, there you go, the battery temperature is dropping right now, 43. With the lower resolution, like I told you, uh, some games on full HD will overheat. Most of the games at 4K or 2K resolution will overheat. Uh, 720p with the Dolphin emulator, they will not heat up ninjas. They will not overheat. At, most of them will not overheat. I, I tried it, I tested it, I know what I'm saying. Great performance here uh, with the Xiaomi 11 Snapdragon 888. Okay, now we're gonna test 4K resolution test quickly. Just one minute test and just need for speed uh, carbon 6.0 scale. I can see myself on the top there. Let's check it out on the top left corner. Let's see here how it's running. 4K resolution, guys. Check the GPU load. <laughs> 99%. Beautiful. You can immediately notice in just how uh, quickly the CPU temperature went high just for 5 6 uh, Celsius in what? In 20 seconds, bro. At 4K resolution. The best way to test overheating issue with, some, I mean, if you want to see how much uh, the phone will overheat, remember that even the Snapdragon A65 will overheat. Every Snapdragon A65 will overheat at 4K. A longer gameplay, some games, maybe, maybe some games which are not that heavy at 4K will not overheat with Snapdragon A65. But so far, what I've been playing, most of them were overheating also. I said, remember, I was using IPK PG9099. The buying links will be in the description. The best cheap gamepad in the world, 20 bucks. I also advise you to buy the game 74, 30 bucks, also the best for the price, in my opinion. And uh, now we're gonna go with the Need for Speed Most Wanted at uh, 4K resolution, 6.0 scale. Laggy, completely acceptable. Half minute of each game, I'm not gonna bother it too much, then we're gonna move to a 2K resolution with all of these games. Let's go now with the, uh, the Need for Speed Most Wanted at 3K resolution. You will have to lower this uh, game on 2K resolution. Also on 3K here, it does have lags in just like you see by stuff here. GPU load, man, it's 99%. Crazy. Assalamu alaikum ninjas, ahlan wa sahlan bikum, it's your tech ninja Muhammad. So new Damon PS2 games, gameplays with a new chip Snapdragon 888 on my YouTube channel. Usually every single year I do uh, updated uh, test gaming test uh, with the Damon PS2 Pro uh, PS2 games on the fastest uh, Android uh, chip that exists uh, in the current time. So this is Snapdragon 888 showing me 11, 12 GB RAM variant updated to the latest version. You're gonna have the buying links in the description, support my channel in that way. And also be will be using a uh, ipega pg 9099 gamepad only 20 bucks or i advise you game 34 or g4 pro series also i will have the buying links in the description uh, let's begin with this video enjoy it and share it everywhere hit that like man